strong, aggressive, male oriented, determined, camaraderie, teamwork. I worked in Jamaica for a year uh, in 2015 and it's still illegal to be gay there so I, um, when I came home I realised that I was, how lucky I was to be able to be uh, you know, out. When I found, joined my first gay team which is 14, 15 years ago I wasn't confident enough to join a local straight team and I'd never played before. So we wanted to create a team where guys who were gay who may not want to join another team like Hove um, could come along and join people. They've been really friendly and welcoming here at Hove Rugby Club and generally in Sussex. Um, I used to play in Essex and it was different in Essex, they weren't so friendly sometimes. A lot of them were very nice but not all of them were as friendly. So here, no, I don't feel any pressure. There's differences between how females play and how males play. I think it's just playing to the advantage of that. I think there's always going to be barriers. I think there's definitely more awareness now, but it's always going to be a challenge and, and something you've got to overcome. Females, it's anyone can play the game. Rugby is a game that anyone can play. There's a position for anyone and everyone, whether you're male, female, doesn't matter. Um, there's some very good male players, there's some very good female players, so no, no problem at all. I think there's a point, there's, there's a, there's a, there is a point in rugby where you think, you know, I'm going to do it to show everyone else that actually I, am, I may be gay and I can do what everyone else can do. I guess there is a point in there somewhere about that, but a, a lot of it is to think, I mean, like the laces I'm wearing, you can't see them, they're rainbow laces. So that's part of an initiative to help to stop homophobia within sports and you get teams all across the country wearing them. I think the what happens on the pitch and what happens off the pitch are completely different. I think uh, if you're feminine off the pitch, that's who you are. There's nothing wrong with that. Feminine on the pitch, that's who you are. There's nothing wrong with it. And I don't think that anyone would have a problem with it on the pitch at all. At the moment, we've won one game uh, against another gay team. So we, this year, the guys have been getting experience because a lot of them never played rugby before. So it was only like myself and a couple of other people that had ever played before. So this year it's just been about getting experience. They're going from strength to strength, people are accepting them. Um, it's, it's, a lot of cases it's a mindset that people have got to get over. Everyone's really welcoming, we all support each other, we'll come down and watch their games, they'll come and watch us, so it's a pretty open environment. We get on very well with them all here, they've all been really friendly and helpful and sometimes we train with them. So we, we've had a lot of training with them and they've been very helpful. We play as a team, we drink as a team, we are a team, so there's no real individuals as such. I think, especially because rugby is such a community sport, I think you've got the guys with you have your back. You pay for 80 minutes and you sweat and you bleed and you cramp with them and they've got your back and not just the guys on your team, the guys on the opposite team, they have your back as well. It's not about who you are and who I am, it's everyone, it's a rugby family. Someone translate colour No, it's just for our runs at different ones. Oh,